He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you are one of them. We think Perseus cut you out of the picture in Turkey. Adler found you still alive. When the plane leaves trap zone, he is stopping in Dugo. This unit. come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air.
quick! Yeah, I do, Papa boy! They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. 
We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to her family and her caskets in transit to London. We spoke in MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. He'll return to the agency in good time. The pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me. It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. <laughs> 